Hey guys, it's Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards. Hope you're having a nice start to your weekend. I've got something really cool for you uh, this evening. This may be a little bit of a longer video, but I think you'll enjoy it. I recently picked up on eBay this Donruss Fun Bag, okay? And if you're not familiar with these, uh, these were put out uh, as an additional way to sell overstock product. Donruss made them, Topps made them, and it's essentially a variety pack of different packs. And there's 13 baseball packs in here, and then there's 12 packs that are mysterious. They literally just say um, cards and stickers on the pack, right? And so there, there are non-sport packs, there are uh, golf packs, there's all, all different kinds of stuff, BMX. Um, but I bought this because the price was just amazing. It was too good to pass up. I, I, uh, the seller did not specify what year of Donruss baseball were in here, but there's 13 Donruss baseball packs in here. And it, the, it was $40 to buy this. And I just, it was just too good of a deal to pass up. So I, so I bought it. And it's, what's really cool is that you can, I can see the cards face out on the back in the baseball uh, packs. And they're 1983 Donruss. They're kind of hard to show on camera, but you can clearly see the cards on the back and you can see the design. And they're 1983, which is a good year because there's Gwynn, you know, uh, you have Sandberg, obviously, you have Boggs, rookies, a lot of other Hall of Famers. But since uh, we could see the cards on the back, I thought it would be fun to open this on camera and press the packs and look for star packs, look for Hall of Famer packs showing and also to figure out what all of these uh, stars and sticker packs are. Uh, I think the one on the back, from what I can see, is Tron. Uh, the movie Tron that was made in, I think, 1980 or 81. Donruss made a Tron set, and I'm pretty sure I could see the T and the R on the back. So, so at, at least a few of those are Tron, but the others could be golf, which would be amazing. Right? Um, I just thought this would be a fun thing to do and a great way to try to maybe expand my pack collection. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. Some people collect fun bags. To me, it's just, it's cool to have it like this, but I'd rather open, the, open it and see what's inside rather than, uh, you know, rather than just leave it like this. I know some, some people may be upset by that, but it, the goal is to, you know, to try to um, get some star packs, right? Because there's no way to tell otherwise. Let's start with, okay, so I've opened it. I opened it from the top right there. And so now it's open. Let's see. Tron. Yeah, the, the, the stars and stickers, these are Tron. Wow, look at that yellowing. You can see there. Yep, Tron. So all these star and sticker packs are all Tron, it looks like so far. You can see the T-R-O-N. They have a very distinct color. I don't know if anyone has seen the movie Tron, but yeah, these are all Tron. Which is cool, that's fine, you know, that's fine. I was hoping for some golf, but these all seem to be Tron. Okay. Now, let's see, there's more in here that are the non-distinct, uh, uh, the starred sticker packs. Let's see if they're all Tron, or maybe some are different. All it would take is a, a golf pack or two. Oh, this is a baseball, this is a baseball pack, and it has a, um, looks like a player for the Cardinals on the back, upside down, face out. Some of these, I won't be able to tell who they are specifically, right? Um, but th the goal is, hopefully, I'll be able to identify a star pack uh, fairly easily. Tron, Tron. Okay, so these are all Tron. <laughs> so that's kind of a kind of a bust. I was hoping for some golf or something, but those are all Tron. So we have the first baseball pack here, and it is. Yeah, I cannot tell who who it is. It's okay. I'll figure it out. 
up some one ways to just go through and look on eBay. If you think it's a player of a certain team, look up all the cards from that team for the set. All right, that's kind of a good way to do this. Uh, let me see here. Uh, can't tell who that is. But you see, you can clearly see the players though on the back. It might be Burble 11. It's hard to tell. That might be Burble 11 on the back. If so, that's cool. All right. So far, they're all face out, which is really good for us. Again, I'm not sure how informative this will be. <laughs> Pressing in real time, trying to see who's on the back. But these are 83 Donruss, which is great. This one, I could see a little bit of his name. That's not a star player. Okay, this is Boyd's, Boyd's something. Not a star player on this one either. But again, it's cool. You can clearly see him. It's, it's, all it takes is one really good pack. Yeah, so far, I think we're, all commons. Maybe. Okay. This is Dennis Lamp. This is the first one I can clearly tell the name on the bottom. You can see a name here. Dennis Lamp. And then this one's actually open a little bit. You can kind of see it. Uh, Green border. Uh, I can't tell who it is, but this one's kind of actually kind of nasty. I might actually open this one on camera when we're done, just for fun. Because why not? Yeah, yeah, it's loose and it's kind of kind of nasty. So we have one, two, three, four. Five. So we have here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So we have six more. This one is also kind of, kind of, kind of messed up. I can't tell who this is, but you can see it's a base. It's eighty-three dollars baseball. Uh huh. Yeah. So hard to tell. So hard to tell. Oh, here's, that's cool. This is neat. Uh, Diamond King. This is it. This isn't exactly why I did this. This is cool. Dale Murphy, Diamond King, face out on the back. How cool is that? That's why I did this. That is cool. That is so cool. Um... See the condition of the pack, it's fine. That is so neat. Yep, Dale Murphy, Diamond King, face out on the back. Well, there we go. I was starting to dread, uh, regret this, but that's neat. It's not a big value item, obviously, but this is, this is so cool. Um, and all it takes is, oh, and I think we might, oh no, I can't tell. This is an Oakland pitcher, an Oakland pitcher. On that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Hall of Famer. There we go. I know this card already. Uh, this is Dennis Eckersley on the back. There we go. There's a neck. Dennis Eckersley right there. So that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. We'll take it. And some of these others could have a Hall of Famer. It's just hard to, it's hard to say for certain. Um, yeah, some of these I just can't tell. I just can't tell. I'm gonna have to uh, go through and look some more. It's hard to tell, but at the very least, this is just so much fun to do this. That's, sorry, 
you're seeing this in real time as I'm trying to figure this out. So bear with me. This might be, it might be Burble 11. I just, I have to look up his card, but I have no doubt there's the, it's a Dale Murphy Diamond King on the back of one. And uh, I, yeah, I've got to, I've got to look these up, but I will uh, let you guys know what I, if there's any other big, big ones that come up here. It is so cool. They're all face out, and we can actually see some of the, uh, um, you know, some of the names, and sometimes you just recognize a card. The Diamond King Dale Murphy, that, that was really cool to see. Um, I'm going to open, I'm going to figure out which one of these is in the worst shape, and I'm going to open it. Uh, it's hard to tell. If you're still watching thank you for watching hopefully this has been entertaining um, I think this one's in worse shape it's a little loose and um, unless it's I don't think it's a Hall of Famer on the back it's hard to tell oh, this one did uh, I can't tell Um, yeah, that's really, oh, there it is. I could see part of a name. Okay, it's not a Hall of Famer. Let's go ahead and open this. You guys have been through a lot. Let's go ahead and open this and have some fun. Oh, Caesar Geronimo on the back. Okay. Well, we know these haven't been searched because there's no way to search them. So we'll see. Maybe we can get a Gwen or something. yet, but no big deal there. The Tron were a bust, but at least the rest of these, I mean, for 40 bucks I, on eBay, I mean, I just I couldn't go wrong. Oh, and George Foster. Good ball player, George Foster. Well, that is that that was so cool. I'm going to show the big the big packs one more time because they're just they're they're neat to see. There's Dennis Eckersley on the back. And there is Dale Murphy's Diamond King showing. How cool is that? Well, well, that was fun. Well, if you're still watching, get fun. If you ever see these on eBay and you're looking to get into unopened, this is a cool way to make sure the packs haven't been examined or tampered with. But hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, if I uh, identify, I'm going to spend some time. I don't want to make this a two-hour video on my channel. I'm going to take some time and try to press the rest of these and try to figure out who exactly is showing. And maybe there's another star. But uh, I, this has been a lot of fun. So thanks for playing along. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend. Take care of each other. Keep collecting vintage unopened baseball, everybody.